Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, 19-year-old woman in custody after stabbing spouse. And in sports, West Indies team doesn't need Chris Gale, says former opening batsman. A 27-year-old man from Westmoreland is dead and his 19-year-old girlfriend in lockup. The dead man has been identified as Kemar Williams, otherwise called Gravel, a laborer of Prospect District in Frome. He was allegedly stabbed by his girlfriend, who is from Tivoli Gardens in West Kingston. The incident happened Friday night at the house in which the couple lived. According to the Gleaner, Williams was assaulting his girlfriend when she used a knife to stab him. Residents told the paper that the couple had an abusive relationship. Schools receive funding for hand sanitizers. Schools receive funding for hand sanitizers. The Ministry of Education has kept their promise to provide schools across the island with the necessary funds to purchase hand sanitizers and disinfectants. The drive is part of the government's fight to brace for the coronavirus COVID-19. The transaction was confirmed on Saturday in a statement issued by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Carl Samuda, Minister with Responsibility for the Education Portfolio, says he is expecting parents to cooperate with the schools to protect theirs and their children's health. And in sports, West Indies team doesn't need Chris Gale, says former opening batsman. Phil Wallace, former West Indies opening batsman, is of the opinion that West Indies can do without Gale's services. Wallace made his comments against the backdrop of West Indies' victory in their series against Sri Lanka on Friday. Wallace, citing Gale's age of 40, claims he doesn't move around as swiftly as he used to and that there is enough depth now in the team that they can move forward without the charismatic cricketer. Champs could be held without spectators. The Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships scheduled for the National Stadium from March 24 to 28 could be held without spectators. According to Dr. Warren Blake, president of the J3A, Jamaica Athletics Administration Association, a medical practitioner said that this could happen if the feared coronavirus now sweeping the globe reaches Jamaica. He was asked about the likely impact of the virus on champs and the upcoming Jamaica International Invitational Meet during an interview on trackalerts.com live stream of the Carifta trials on Sunday at the National Stadium. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.